What's the justification for uh, refusing to uh, go to the United States and, and uh, answer these questions? Uh, well, from his point of view, there's none. I mean, if he's, if he's entirely innocent, as he maintains consistently in the palace, uh, shriek out loud to say so, then um, why doesn't you simply answer the questions which they're putting? If he, uh, for instance, the, the, the uh, Metropolitan Police have records going back 30 years as to where all the Royal Protection Officers were at any particular point, and therefore it's very well easy to establish <clears throat> where Prince Andrew's protection officers were on any particular date. And if he was at Pizza Express uh, in working, that will show up on their records. Now, I've put a freedom of information request in um, for their information, but they're not keen to release it. But Prince Andrew, if he's entirely innocent, should be releasing that information himself. Himself, indeed. Um, what's the reason, what's the justification for the FBI not coming here to question him? Well, I imagine that there's been quite a lot of pressure put on by the British government to um, avoid the embarrassment of the situation. And that's, that's, that's historically what's happened in the past. If you look back at to the end of the Second World War, this is also in my book in the chapter called Germany Calling. Oh, brilliant uh, chapter. The, brilliant. Thank you. Well, there was a lot of information there, George, as you know, about, um, about Edward VIII yeah. uh, and his embarrassing activities and how the British government after the Second World War, when it should have been rebuilding Britain, uh, this is a Labour government who did quite a lot of good things, but they spent a huge amount of diplomatic um, money, as, as it were, um, trying to persuade the Americans to destroy information about Edward VIII. So they go to extraordinary lengths, don't they, to um, protect the royal family. So I imagine that's part of the problem.